guys like this little van version of what I was doing at my mom's house <laughs> it's really hard to film in the van because it's such a small area so to put up like a tripod and all that and have lighting I had to keep moving my ring light back and forth um, because it's just so dark in here and the lighting still isn't that great but got my coat hanging up so it's kind of in the way um so I filmed yesterday but I didn't really like what I was filming for several reasons number one I didn't really do much I was just driving most of the well, all day and I had a really bad day so the footage was basically just me complaining and like crying <laughs> Not really crying this time, but like on the verge of crying. You know when you're just like frustrated. Like it was just a frustrating day. It all started because I woke up and I left really early because I wanted to get on the road. I didn't spend any time making breakfast or tea because I didn't have a coffee maker. If I find any clips worth inserting, I will insert them now. So I found on Google Maps a coffee place to go to. I'm telling you, I'm, there's not, there's not even like McDonald's or anything on these roads that I'm on. And you know you are out, ooh, a grocery store. Okay, I think I'm gonna get some food and use the bathroom but the point I'm trying to say is finally I was all excited because I thought I found a coffee shop and it's like doesn't exist anymore I was just looking on Google Maps for literally freaking anything and there's nothing for like three hours there's literally not even a rest stop there's not even a normal gas station <laughs> I'm just irritated. This is not the van life I personally like to have. I like to be in civilization. I don't like to be this far out from anything. The only thing that's make, giving me comfort is that if anything happens to my van, people are driving down this road, so like eventually someone would find me and hopefully save me and not freaking murder me. For seven hours, I was just having the worst day Ever. I was annoyed by everything I was starving yeah anyways um, finally got coffee it totally changed my life around and um, dragon here's a bird so he's going in the windowsill let's see if it comes crashing down plus I had I couldn't find anywhere to stop and cook there were no rest stops there were no normal gas stations or truck stops I mean I was on like an obscure highway it was just very, it was not my day. Like I was really upset that I took that route. I would have gladly driven an extra two hours and had normal sea around me. I smelled cow poop for about four hours straight. Anyways, here we are today. I'm obviously not, well, I guess it's not obvious. I'm not at my uh, destination, but I made it to warmer weather and this is how you know I'm from Minnesota because I was talking to my dad on the phone yesterday and he said what's the temperature there and I was like oh I, I mean it feels like 70 you know and it's sunny and whatever and I looked at the temperature it was 54 <laughs> but I was like no it's 70 it's like summer here practically definitely having a real life van life moment because so it's still early it's like 9 30 in the morning and, um, you know, I had my little fun this morning, but I was like, none of the consignment shops and antique shops open until like some at 10, but it seems like mostly 11. So I was like, that's fine. I'll go to the gym. I'll shower because I want to go into the forest tomorrow, but I thought then I can do my hair and whatever. And then that will be done for like three days. Right. Um, and I came to Planet Fitness and I packed my gym bag and everything. It is full of all my stuff ready to go. And then I thought, let me just call in and make sure because learn my lesson right, but not well enough because I should have called ahead maybe before even coming to this state. And I asked them if their showers were open and they said, Governor orders, they're not open. I already haven't showered in like four days now. 
I think. <laughs> and it's fun. Like, I don't feel really dirty. I mean, it's just my hair, but like, I'll just put my hair up. It's not the end of the world. The closest truck stop, though, is like 45 miles, and I want to be in town to do my antique shopping and stuff like that. So, it is what it is. We're not showering today. So, I'm currently driving. I'm going to look for a camping spot. I totally almost forgot to get gas. Get, can't speak gas. Including, um, oh, it's so dark. Diesel, which as you can see, I'm very low. And it's probably going to get really cold if I do decide to stay the night. So I'm like, luckily, I'm on this sort of like mountain highway. Um, there's gas stations, but I'm going to hurry because it seems pretty busy. Also, I forgot to put my braces back in earlier. I'm sure this content is so riveting today. Oh, I have such a headache, so my hair is so dirty, but I need to have it down. You know what I'm saying? Those hair follicles need a break. Um, so basically what happened is I'm still parked at the gas station. I was having a moment because I opened my diesel tank. Um, not the one that's connected to the heater, but the portable one. And it was pressurized, and so it kind of blew a lot of air out at me um so I was worried that that meant everything in my van was pressurizing and it was gonna like explode like my propane bottles and stuff I'm still not confident in this gas thing so I might actually I emptied it out it's pretty low I might just take the lid off until I get up there Shoot, you guys, this is the road to get to the dispersed camping area. But it does not look good. I'm just not confident my van's going to make it past that. It looks dry up there, but that, and it dips. I don't know, it's hard to see on camera, but right there it like dips down shoot there is quite a bit of snow up here still i mean where the sun touches it's dry but it's just beautiful there's a creek that goes all the way down this like mountain and all uh, all i want to do is get in the creek and be isabel page and swim in the winter water so anyways this sucks. I'm not going to even risk getting stuck. I've not had service in a while and civilization is going to be quite a walk to get to if I do get stuck. Okay. I don't know if you can see all oh, the reflection of the hat is in the way. Look at how beautiful. First of all, the mountain, then there's this Creek down here. I'm just like, how do I get over there? It's probably private property though this is just like a like where you can spend the day but you can't overnight park here which sucks because I would totally just park here um there's people like hanging out down here too but I want to show you this creek if there was nobody here I'd just go swimming oh yeah this is all like really wet ground Probably means the other campsite is. Yeah, there's people getting, hanging out. Oh my god, I'm dying. I have goosebumps and not from the cold. This is so beautiful. <gasps> oh, this is like my dream. If I could find land with like a stream like this, That's cold. 
I don't know if I'm going to be able to Isabel page it, but... Wow. Just listen. It's chilly when you're not in the sun. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Amazing. Okay. Well, I think there's a stream like that on the other side too. It looks like there's two. So let's hope it. That ground was pretty moist. And I'm just not sure. My ears are plugged about driving conditions. But this area, I'm much more likely to get saved. I still don't have service. But I think that place is still a while down. Let's keep track. Okay, so here's the dispersed camping. Great, right? And no one's here. Oh, I guess there is somebody here. It's like pretty much empty, but there's no way I'm getting past these two puddles. Oh my gosh, I'm ruining my shoes because it is so muddy. I just want to see what's over here. Dragon's getting annoyed. I haven't let him out yet. And I keep getting out. No, no creek. I thought this would be the creek. Bummer, you guys. This sucks because I drove all the way here just to go to this forest. I'm just super bummed that that camping spot didn't work out. So that's unfortunate. So I think I'm going to just do my typical stir fry with noodles, miracle noodles. Although these are not miracle noodles, they're a brand that I don't particularly care for. Mmm.
is sort of another struggle day because I finally made it to this rest stop and I thought I was gonna sleep here tonight. I'm so tired, like, I'm struggling. <laughs> and I just wanna find somewhere where I can wash my hair and go to sleep. And um, I called a different state, I called Arizona Planet Fitness and they have their showers open so I think I'm just gonna like peace out of New Mexico tomorrow and get to Arizona so I can at least like have the shower option available. Um, but yeah, so I'm at this rest stop and I pull in and there's literally like a rest stop patrol car with a man who looks like a cop patrolling the rest stop. It is the strangest thing. I've never seen anything like it. So I'm going to go ahead and guess that I cannot sleep overnight here because it's early. I mean, it's 543. I was just going to stay here for the night, wake up early, start driving. Um, so I'm like, oh man, I just don't want to get woken up. I'm, I'm like so tired. But I've never seen like a rest stop patrol. And like the car says like rest stop patrol. It's so weird. But anyways. Um I found a different place that honestly doesn't look that great. I really don't wanna sleep here. I didn't film an outro for my video. I quit filming because I was having such a rough time. It took me $45 in gas six different I overlander tries and well the sixth one was the one that stuck and it was random city street parking which was great so I ended up just like finding a spot going to sleep I was so cranky last night um and I just couldn't film because I would have cried <laughs> but I found a spot that was safe last night and today we are headed to a different forest and we are going to attempt again um forest camping still haven't showered I'm like two and a half hours from the spot so I'm gonna try to do that and do a camping shower if not I'll probably just wash my hair in my sink and or do a truck stop shower um but that you'll see in the next video but I just wanted to come out and say goodbye and thank you for watching mm -hmm.